Hello and welcome back to the Myriad Cloud training videos. Now that we've got some content on a system, it's time to turn our attention to scheduling. Now scheduling is a very complex topic that's covered in detail on our wider tutorial videos and documentation. This guide is intended as a very quick introduction to scheduling with Myriad Cloud. So let's take a look. As normal, we start on the dashboard in the broadcast.radio portal and we want to click on Manage Schedule in the Station Management section. This will open up the Myriad Anywhere scheduling module. In this module, you can manage your songs and links and adverts. You can also build clocks and assign them to hours of the week, manage your station rules, and also view and schedule the log. So let's take a look at the options. The Add Song Link and Advert sections and the Media Import Wizard were all covered in a previous video about importing content. So we're going to skip over the, those for now. So the first thing we want to look at is the Edit Clock Assignments. Click on that and it opens up a grid. And here you can see we've got two clocks in the system at the moment and we've got a grid with every hour of the week. Uh, and the each hour of the week we use the corresponding clock to fill that hour. So let's take a look at this general clock that's been generated for us. Here we can see it's just a basic generic clock. And this is what we call a simple clock, which means we don't specify the exact structure of the clock. We just tell it what to play. So you can see we've got a title, um, a show presenter, a show title. Uh, you can choose whether it's a simple or an advanced clock, the scheduling mode, and also which rules to use. So what I'm going to do is make this really simple. I'm going to turn on the override category goals. This will allow us to see all of the different categories we have and adjust the weightings for each one of those categories. By default, they're all at equal weighting. So the first thing I want to do is turn them all to zero. Now that I've done that, I can properly assign the weightings for the different categories of songs we have. So you can see I've got 19 pop songs, 22 gold songs, and 11 rock songs. So let's have our music be some pop, some gold, and a little bit of rock. And we could do the same thing on the link categories. Now that I've set some song and link category goals, I can also specify any media items that want to be played at the beginning and the end of the hour. When I'm happy, just click on the OK button and you've changed that clock. So let's see how we would create a new clock. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my general clock I just edited as the base and I'm going to click on the Copy Clock button. And I'm going to call this one Pop. But because I use the, um, the general clock as the base for this, all of my other settings have been retained. So what I'm going to do with this is because I just want to play pop music, I'm just going to turn that down so that the only thing that's played is pop music whenever this clock is used. Click on OK to save the changes. If your clock isn't listed, simply click on the refresh button. Once you've created your clock, you can assign it to an hour of the week. So let's say we wanted to use our pop clock at one o'clock on a Monday. You can simply drag it onto one o'clock on a Monday. But let's say we actually wanted to do it every Monday at one o'clock all week. You can select those, those clock positions and set to the selected clock here, and that will change them. So I'm just going to do a little bit of pop here. And what I'm going to do is just show you exactly the same thing uh, doing a gold show. So now you can see we're using a general clock for most of the hours of the week, but between one and two we're using pop, and between three and five we're using the gold clock. Now let's try something a bit more advanced and add a advanced clock. So click on the add new clock button, 
And this time I'm going to call this one advanced and I'm going to switch it to advanced mode. And when you do that, it will then build a clock framework for you. So you can see we're going song, song, link, song, song, link, song, song, link. And I'm just going to, for the purposes of this, I'm just going to add in uh, a couple of advert breaks as well. Uh, but as you can see, you can add in lots of different things on the side here, but this is covered in much more detail in other documentation and videos. Uh, the final thing I want to show you here is that you can also set the categories for each one of these. So if you click on the click on the song, you can then say, OK, well, I want to use uh, this one to be a rock song and I want uh, this one to be a pop song. But for all the other items, I'm saying use the goals and with the goals, Again, I can override it and I can choose what I want to mix. So I can choose my particular mix of music however I want to. So a bit more gold, a little bit of pop. So now that I've created a advanced clock, I can go ahead and assign that to a couple hours of the week as well. And there you go. So now I'm going pop, advanced. Continue to add clocks to your system to cover each show of the week and assign it to the appropriate hours of the day and week. Once you've completed your schedule, it's worth reviewing the rules. And then once you've done that, we're ready to start scheduling. If you have multiple rules set up, they'll be listed here. But as you can see, we've just got the default station rules set up right now. So I'm going to double click to open that. In here, we have a generic category goal grid. So this would be applied if we didn't override on any clocks. And it's worth setting this to be the general mix of music that you want on your station. From here, you can also go into each category and specify specific rules for that category. So you can see we have an artist separation of one hour and a title separation of two hours. And I've also got this rule as breakable, which means the system will try and follow these rules, but if it can't, it will break those rules. Go ahead and do the same for all the categories you're using and your rules will be largely set up. Now that the rules are in place, we can actually schedule the log. Click on schedule log, choose your date range and click on schedule. The system will take a few moments to actually schedule the content. But once scheduled, you'll be able to view the log and start adding voice tracks or editing the log as required. If the system encounters any issues while scheduling, you'll have them listed in a warnings window at the end of the schedule process. But as we can see here, everything's okay. If you need to unschedule any period of time in your log, you can do that by using the unschedule item, choose the date time range that you want to unschedule, and then click on unschedule. This removes the schedule from the log. As I mentioned previously, we have a lot more documentation about scheduling, both written and video. So I'd highly recommend watching one of those tutorials, but hopefully this has given you enough to get started with your station. In the next video, we'll take a look at how a listener would access your station and how you can customize the player that they will use.